Okay, here we go again. This is take number five. Let's see if I can do this without a catastrophe. Okay, um, what we're doing, I put on my website the recipes for the uh, skin tones. There they are here. And I wanted to show you, this is value uh, one to eight right here. In order to get these lighter ones that you see here and right here, you need to di dilute and reduce kind of thing. So uh, I'll show you how I do it. Since our <clears throat> smallest measure is an eighth of a teaspoon, which is this value, we need to go lighter. So this one is, there's my Evangeline, which is equal parts of W2, which is red, orange, and chestnut brown. That's Evangeline. It's kind of a pinkier. This one here would be great for Santa Claus. It's not ideally the best place to show you this stuff, but anyway. Uh, this would be a good one for Santa Claus's, and that's W2 again, red orange, and that's equal parts of it and the charcoal gray. And that it's in the jars, it's what I mean. You mix equal parts. So, what I'm going to show you today is this one, and this was the same one that Anya used for her uh, Modigliani uh, for rug school this week. So, here's your one to eight right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which you follow on on your card in the same way. And this is equal parts of W4, which is yellow orange and charcoal gray, which is this. So when you mix these two together, you get this color. Pretty cool, isn't it? So since we want the lighter ones up here, what we have to do is take an eighth of a teaspoon and reduce it. And this is how we do that. So it's very easy. Hold on. So here's some I previously made. And this was so that I could make the other swatches. So equal parts would be, it could be this amount. It could be half a cup of each. So let's say equal parts of this, rinse it off, and equal parts of charcoal gray. Okay, so this is now our solution, and we can call it Medigliani, or whatever you want to call it. It's now your recipe using my system. So, from there, you take your eighth of a teaspoon, yeah, you can take my word for it. <laughs> it's an eighth of a teaspoon. And you put it in a cup of water. It doesn't have to be boiling. This has been heated up, of course, before I use it. I always refresh the Prochem dye jars. So you can see that's one cup. And so I add an eighth of a teaspoon. So this solution is for a number one value. So what I would have to do is pour just half of this solution into jar number one. And by pouring half of it, it makes it one sixteenth. So let me just, just do that. A little, be a little careful here like this. Okay, so oh, one more drip. So I could mark it on a clothespin or something on here that this is 1 16th, but we'll actually see the difference in the color. So now I still have 1 16th left in there, so I refill the cup to 1. And I'll just give it a stir and pour half of it off. So if this is now because I filled it up, it is now, where is my ear? This is 116th, 
So half of this is, this is 1 16th again, so half of this will be 1 32nd. Like that. And I still have the other here, so fill it up again. You just keep going. So if this is 1 32nd, this will be 1 64. Not much color after that. This is usually where I stop, but you can fill it up one more time for the 1 over 128 of a teaspoon. And that's all there is for that. And then you process them in the same way. See that this one is pretty well clear. There's a bit of color in these, but this one is almost clear. It has a tiny touch of color in it, but it's there. So that's as far as you go. And now you have 12 values for your flesh tone that you see on my website. So six minutes. Okay. Time to go. Thanks again.